In the last two and a half years, at the time of the pandemic and the new world situation, the topic of physical and virtual borders and how different political democracies reacting to this with the reaction of the people. Can you share with us some examples that you observed and tell us about some project of yours in this time of the pandemic and the changes that happen in your work? Uh, pandemic trends first of all, uh, also changed a lot of my private also. Um, I think um, at that time in the Germany and uh, we started to uh, talk about uh, very uh, seriously about the uh, uh, Corona. At that time I was in Düsseldorf. I visited in Düsseldorf in February. So I visited and uh, one exhibition in noise and the post noise. And uh, so and that was in the train. I sit in somewhere and uh, came a lot of uh, German guys and look at me and oh he's from Asia. You are this uh, coronavirus. You know they uh, keep the distance and uh, make a joking about oh I don't want to you know get the uh, corona for example and uh, so this is the corona I, uh, the start is uh, racism you know and uh, in Asia symbol you are from Asia and you are like a coronavirus that's one symbol uh, motivate me and start one project is not artist project it's like project against racism in corona pandemic i opened the uh, group uh, against the racism and uh, there was also in touch an uh, article uh, at the time of the uh, about, uh, uh, these uh, issues and um, uh, we gave uh, different uh, advice if someone need uh, help uh, from us, even if also a medical, also uh, in social way. And because a lot of uh, Asian, uh, they uh, still come here to study and they have not enough experience. And uh, also uh, because of the language, you know, the, they have just uh, very, isolation situation you know so uh, i think uh, i spent a lot of time uh, eight months nine months for this project and this was uh, my experience after that i came um, i have uh, two exhibition in and in, in during the Corona, one thing is uh, some more solar exhibition. The other one thing is yeah, a cultural exchange program during this uh, Corona pandemic time uh, between the Seoul and Munich. And I um, was curator uh, with uh, Maria from Mia, artist and from Munich. We uh, applied to South Korea and make an exhibition. So she uh, get the a lot of this uh, um, this this situation, the Corona pandemic situation is like uh, by this way and make a ritual is uh, new artwork and uh, in integrated artwork with her uh, art piece. She knew that. We have to uh, quarantine uh, in the South Korea, two weeks, 14 days. Exactly 14 plus uh, half. <laughs> um, uh, Maria Pomio, uh, uh landed, um, in the, we landed the same plane in the Incheon uh, airport in South Korea, and she have to go uh, in quarantine hotel. So for me, it's also unusual because, uh, you know, I had uh, two times that it was a uh, second time my uh, quarantine. I had uh, uh, my family in, in nearby in Seoul. That's why I can stay there. 
So we had a different place and uh, we communicated via email or uh, Zoom, for example, and Skype and talk with the uh, developed or the um, space. And uh, second time was feel like a little bit better, a little bit free, uh, but I have always I talk with her and the Maria and uh, about the exhibition and stuff and a little bit explain about this Korean situation because Maria was it's you know was first time in South Korea so she have to directly in the, the Korean uh, hotel and she didn't know what they had to do you know so I explain what kind of it. and uh, the mentality of a Korean we have to explain it the Korean mentality and somehow very strict you know you know uh, for example uh, they has like a very uh, strong is um, tone uh, a lot of people uh oh it's corona corona is like you know you you are from germany you you are also that like uh korean coronavirus uh, it's the opposite sides and i was in in germany and i was also in from the uh, uh because of i'm from the asian pace and that's why i was like in, about coronavirus at that time and then um, I'm from uh, Europe, I'm from Germany, so I'm also in coronavirus, you know, so it's, that's why it's a different <laughs> experience, but it's uh, like the same situation, it's very, very unusual, so doesn't matter where I'm from, uh, but it's like, uh, it's um, two different countries and uh, a little bit same experience. It's not the racism in the, in the context in South Korea, but it's like, you know, um, you foreigner, you are from different countries and uh, you are Korean, but it doesn't matter. You are also like uh, coronavirus. Uh, corona time still right now, yes, Korea is like, ooh, very strong and prohibit uh, without mask somewhere have to go uh, it's prohibit you know it's very strong strict uh, not allowed so um this is korean station normally in korea is very often it's uh, you know well, don't care and but it's uh, i think it's the fear of uh, against uh, the corona is like uh, in asia all of Asia area is especially China, uh, Vietnam, Taiwan, Japan, still very uh, strictly, a lot of people here. The Maria Pomia uh, focused on the uh, material. She got the uh, from the uh, Korean at uh, the Korean hotel and the, uh, because of the Corona and the, all the uh, the material for the selected the, uh, the vinyl vinyl bag for uh, food and uh, different kids and uh, this is all different uh, material she, she used like after that as like exhibition space and exhibition the name uh, Maria for Mia uh, there's also in the situation like hotel situation let's make a mattress used like there and uh, she got the uh, every day uh, like message from the speaker in the hotel. So this speaker uh, gave you uh, what you have to do. It's like, you know, uh, very uh, unusual uh, experience. For example, uh, you get the uh, food and uh, don't open the, your door right now. So. Uh, if I say yes, and then you have to open the uh, door and uh, you just as, uh, as quick as uh, uh, possible and uh, just take your food and uh, get in the in, inside, you know. And this experience, so she uh, wrote down as like uh, day memory sentence and uh, 
selected all different sentences and also um, the experience. And those were like uh, small, like memory books. And uh, it was also in part of the exhibition. In 2001, you opened an exhibition called Art5, and you were initiating the Art5 nonprofit association. I would be happy if you can tell us what was the idea behind of making this association and why you chose this name. Art5 is a nonprofit association. This is for uh, artists and uh, curators and theorists. And we select it together and uh, make a dialogue. We are now a lot of members uh, living and working in Munich. Our focus right now is, uh, for example, Munich and Seoul and Tokyo. So we focus on these two different continents, Asia and Europe. We interested in the, uh, especially in politic and culture. Art5 is short meaning in the double uh, meaning. So one thing is uh, Art5 is uh, Article 5, and this is German uh, constitution. The meaning of the uh, freedom of speech is in, the, in it. And art is also art, mean, and that's why we use Art5. For me, it's art is uh, a symbol of the uh, polity. I bring a lot of issues, for example, uh, between the uh, Russia and the Ukraine war. Art can do a lot of stuff. And also our association, we interested in this political way, how we can bring the, uh, in this issue with, uh, to the uh, public. Maybe. Uh, have a planned and different exhibitions and event programs following the exhibition and conference and lecture and symposium and workshop and uh, festival is like a music festival and in symbol like uh, how we can bring this uh, special issue, for example, refugees for example, uh, war, for example, adoption, for example, in this uh, conflict between two different countries, two different uh, continents. Uh, for example, this uh, anti-Semitism uh, is also, of course, our uh, interest area does bring also a political discussion. 2021, there is a, our association at five. Uh, uh, how we start in one uh, idea is uh, we call it, um, art and democracy. It's Kunst and Bund Demo democracy. Include our association name at five. Uh, it's a symbol of the art and uh, democracy, and uh, that's why we use like both of the name. And we invited different artists, and actually we uh, gonna it's like arts festival. Our first plan was gonna invite it to thirty artists, but because of the Corona situation, we uh, made a small uh, smaller. And uh, even if it's smaller, we had uh, uh, three different space, two uh, white cube uh, art space, and the other one is uh, public mm. art space in the subway or in the, in the street and the placard, poster images put in the underworld. This art, uh, we invite um, seven different artists position. A lot of points is like in uh, also from Asia, but it's they live in, in Europe discussion about the what's the um, democracy in this um, Corona pandemic and what after Corona pandemic and we want to talk about what the symbol of the uh, democracy in the art scenes. So uh, this was our uh, main issue. After exhibition 2021, we have a very good 
connection with crypto. And uh, so we are gonna make uh, connection and network in Japanese art scenes. And uh, we have planned November and online uh, conference about freedom of speech. We are gonna invite different artists from Japan and uh, curator, historical in, in this different area and academic area. And also uh, in German, we are our side also from the, our association, our board member are there. And uh, Friedrich Abad Stiftung, Japanese literature in the Leipzig Uni University, for example, and uh, uh, some of the artists, and we connected our uh, difference uh, to um, country and uh, talk about the freedom of speech. I would like to thank you, Jehan, for joining us today for this talk. I enjoyed your uh, time and uh, thank you for your invite, invitation. You are more than welcome to see more information and link about Jehan's work and projects in the links below. And for more talks and discussion, check our website www.sleepingfortomorrow.com.